I don't know if you've ever walked into a supermarket uh, or maybe a, um, a Target and you have filled your cart with stuff. You walk over to the checkout stands and there you have 20 different stands, 20 different units where cashiers could be checking out, except there's only two people in the store working. So what happens? You look at the two spots, the lights are on and people are lined up there. And you're wondering, why have all these checkout stands if nobody is here? It can be frustrating, right? Well, imagine that you rent a server, any kind of server where they're promising you two gigs, four gigs, eight gigs of RAM, and you're thinking, that's so much capacity, and yet your site is still slow, right? Or imagine you just go and get your own, right? I'll, I'll get a managed VPS, managed, you know, dedicated, and uh, I'll just go configure it, and you spin it up, and you've bought a good amount of CPU, or you've bought a good amount of RAM, and then you're like, but my, my site is still slow. Not all sites are created equal, right? Sure, if you have a brochure or something that's less interactive, any of those services can be fantastic and fast because they're caching, right? They're storing it up in memory and they're basically saying, you don't have to hit the database anymore, et cetera, right? So it, it loads fast. But what if you're building an interactive site, right? What if you're building something like an e-commerce store or a membership course or a learning system? you're going to be hitting that system back and forth all the time. Multiple people are logging in concurrently. And when it comes to that high concurrency, when it comes to needing to deliver high performance, it's not all about RAM. It's not all about CPU. There's another little component in there, not listed on most hosting sites, right? Which is the notion of, for WordPress explicitly and WooCommerce, PHP workers, right? Those PHP workers are different. It, think about it when you go up to those checkout stands. When you talk about RAM and CPU, you're talking about all those stands. That's capacity. That's awesome. But throughput is predicated on those PHP workers. And if you only have one or two workers, you only have one or two cash registers, right? People at the cash registers. And that means you're going to end up queuing everything. That's going to be slowing things down, right? So what you want to ask when you're looking at this, when you're trying to justify why pay for managed WooCommerce, for example, or when you're trying to think through, why is uh, my site not running as fast as I want it to? And I've done all the optimizations. I followed all the blog posts. What's still going on? Well, down below everything else at the lowest level of the infrastructure, you're going to have to look inside of, say, Nginx and say, am I spinning up enough child workers as it relates to RAM, as it relates to CPU? Am I doing all this to make sure that I have enough people at the registers so that that capacity can be used. Because in that case, you'll see things speed up. Now you're likely going, how in the world, right, would I manage PHP workers? Well, here's the good news. At Liquid Web, you don't have to. You don't have to worry about that at all because we take care of that. You'll discover at many hosts that they'll give you one or two workers, which puts one or two cashiers at the register. And if you don't have a lot of concurrent traffic, that'll be fine. But when you start noticing you're getting more and more people visiting the site and your, st your site is not doing what it needs to do, that's when you may want to check us out because we're going to give you way more PHP workers and we're going to control and configure that so that you have the highest performing sites and stores out there.